biology students, today we're going to be talking about a weird, cool molecule called enzymes. These are special proteins that do reactions. Let's begin. So enzymes are also going to be called something named a catalyst. In your notes, you're going to be filling in some blanks and filling in some diagrams. Let's begin. So enzymes are proteins, right? That's the type of macromolecule they are. They're not carbs, lipids, or nucleic acids. They're proteins. And they speed up chemical reactions. That is the definition of what a catalyst is. We can use enzyme and catalyst as synonyms. Enzymes all have a very specific shape. They work kind of like a puzzle piece. So here's some examples of puzzle piece matching. Notice that these shapes go together. Now let's label the two parts because we always see two things in all of these drawings. So the first part is the smaller thing in your drawing. Please label it in your drawing in your notes, substrate. All right, the reactant that the enzyme works on is the substrate. Not only fill it in in the word part of your notes, but also in the picture part. This is a very visual idea. The next thing is the actual enzyme. The enzyme is usually drawn bigger, all right, and it's always going to say the same throughout the reaction. The enzyme is where the substrate and the enzyme join together. And that place where they join, I like to call that the active site. I remember it because that's the place where all the activity happens. I remember the difference between substrate and enzyme because substrate is the substance that goes into the enzyme. They fit like puzzle pieces. All right, let's keep going. So when we think about a chemical reaction, we're talking about how the enzyme and the substance work together. The enzyme is in charge of changing the substrate somehow, but the enzyme itself will never change. Enzymes can be used again and again and again. So in your drawing that you're going to label, make sure you see that the enzyme in each picture is the same. Label it over and over again. The substrate is always the thing that's going to change somehow. We can break enzymes down or we can build them. That active site is where the activity happens. And in the middle of the reaction, we can say that the enzyme and the substrate are together. They're forming a complex together. Make sure you labeled that diagram in your notes because I promise, promise, promise you'll see it again. Okay, let's move on. Enzymes have lots of different functions or jobs. What do they do for us? Why do we even care? Well, enzymes break down our big polymers. They break down carbohydrates. They break down lipids. They break them down into those basic building blocks we learn as monomers. So all the stuff we've been learning about before, polymers and monomers, well, enzymes are what are able to break the big ones down into the little ones. Not only that, they can build polymers by combining monomers together. Think about a big, long thing of Legos. They can break them into smaller Lego pieces, or they can rebuild them into a big Lego chain again. Here's an analogy of why enzymes are so important. Well, we're going to think about the fact that Miss Clausen is really bad at cutting up bagels. So bad she'll cut off her finger if she's not careful. So I bought this really good thing called a bagel cutter that's fast at cutting up bagels. My bagel is perfect at fitting in my bagel cutter. That's how enzymes work. They have to fit like puzzle pieces. The active site in this case is where the bagel goes. My substance that I want to change is my bagel. And my enzyme is the bagel cutter. Why? Because the bagel cutter helps me speed up my reaction of cutting up the bagel without chopping off my finger. And my products in this case are the two bagel pieces. The things that go into the reaction are my reactants and my products are here. Wonderful job, guys.